Chat with AHSTW's Denver Poly and kind of just take us through your night, um, match uh, by match, and what worked for you. Uh, first match, a kid from East Union. Uh, I think he bumped up from 160. Uh, hit a real hard snap down and kind of went to work on top. Ended up sticking him sometime in the first period. Second match, Griswold had an open, so got a bye. And then third match, I think uh, ACGC bumped their kids around. Uh, and I got like another 60 or 70 pounder. And then stuck him in the first. What's been uh, something that you've turned to a lot to in your matches to be able to come out on top more often than not? And staying strong on my feet really helps a lot. And then I can set my shots up, getting off bottom, and just keep fighting. What's the biggest change you maybe made from last year to this year to be better as an upperclassman here? Uh, leadership around the room, you know, keeping guys accountable on whether it's working hard in the practice room, reps in the weight room, stuff like that. Who are some of the guys that push you in practice? Uh, Garrison, Gettler, Aiden Martin, Hayden and I scrap a little bit. Yeah. It's pretty rare for teams to have a full lineup like you guys. You're pretty close to a full lineup like you guys do. I mean, a lot only have four or five guys. So what is it about the AHSTW program that draws a lot of people? Uh, I don't know. I think it might be the success in the past. And, like, families around here are kind of, like, born into wrestling. And it's good that we got a lot of young kids coming out. And it's pretty good to see that on a team. And what are your big goals for the year? Uh, go back up to state and win some matches. All right, good luck. Yeah, thank you.